Hi, I'm back. Um, I think yeah, we have an auto. We have an uh, a desync in the audio. So let me let me open this up and then we'll fix it. It will only take but a second once we get the game started. That was amazing. Yeah, that's the uh, Gundam Battle Operation um, home screen music <clears throat> from from the back in the day when you had to like make a Japanese PSN account to play it. So we're not going to watch the opening. I'll, I'll, if you guys want to watch, do you want to watch the opening? Who wants to watch the opening? Raise your hand now. Uh, if you do, we'll watch it on YouTube because this will literally blow your eardrums out. I'm not going to put you through that. Okay, hold on. Let me fix this now. All right, let's go. I know it's loud. I know, I know. Hold on one second. I'll fix it. Do I own like all of these games? Um, yes, most of them. Um, so I I own Armored Core three, Armored Core. Or I I own the original Armored Core, Armored Core three, Nine Breaker, uh, Armored Core four, and For Answers. And I was able to acquire, um, Silent Line, Nexus, and Last Raven for for stream. So I don't. There's actually a lot more that I don't I have. Armored Core two. I don't have Armored Core 2, Another Age, and a bunch more after that. Um, so all you missed, all was in, was I used the Kojima Cannons to blow up the Fermi Fortresses. Uh, I one-punched three of them for the one dark mission in the dark. And then the Red Eye one was just a shit show that I happened to win. So, Okay, let me pull up the intro for you guys. Um, I'm going to have to... I, I, I checked this earlier. I think it was like way down here. This needs to go. To save everybody's eardrums. I think it was something like that. It was a very questionable win. Cookie is correct about that. I don't think I should have won and no one else does either. But I did. And we did the sphere mission that I missed. Um, that was not too bad and I S ranked it. So that was cool. Alright, so we want armored core. F A opening. I'm assuming it's on YouTube. Intro HD. Three minutes is that long? Okay. So let me go here and then go this one. Yes. Everyone admire A2 for a second. And then if I do this, boom. Then this. Let's see how loud it's going to be. That looks like it might be okay. Hold on a second. Let me try this. Can't actually see my monitor right now because uh, I have it switched over to the PS3 output. Let me go here. Yeah, that quality looks like trash. That's not an HD. I can't see chat right now either, so bear with me until this is over. Hold your comments till after the after the movie ends. Actually, I can't look at my phone. Hold on a second. I can see you guys. I have to watch it through OBS <laughs> right now. I've seen it before, though. So this is, is this is this supposed to be White Glint right here? I, I take it because I've seen the model. Me and we we've, we've talked about White Glint in, in Discord before, and that's the White Glint that we talked about. So apparently, White Glint's not dead, even though Joshua was dead. I think, Pidgey, back in the day, you showed me this intro. Because I've seen you play this game before. That's Berlioz. Wait, is it really? 
That's Santa? What are you guys talking about? Santa? Okay, so this launch sequence he's going through right now, can we do that? Is that a thing? Do we get a launch sequence or no? Please say yes. That's all I want. Nice little orb, bro. Look at those eyes. Those eyes are pretty cool. Just stick some rockets on it, Pog. <laughs> what are those little balls it's dropping? That, that Those missiles were fired off from the front. What are the little balls? That's pretty cool. So that's the, the giant booster that got him over to the fortress. Yep, that seems like it's Joshua, trash pilot. I'm guessing that's assault armor right there. Oh, the orbs could have ECM or something. That would that actually make a lot of sense. They couldn't shoot him down on the way in. All right, cool. Oh no, how do I get this? There we go. Cool. Assault armor. I can't wait to learn that mechanic. I'm assuming we get to do that. If we don't get to do that, that's a huge miss on the game's part. All right, so let's go to this. There we go. Everyone now has cancer. Yeah, I mean, that's, isn't assault armor just a giant radiation blast? All right, um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start and then if anyone has a problem with the sound, let me know. Um, it might be a little quiet, we can always turn it up. I just didn't wanna blow anyone's eardrums out. Um, auto sighting, I think we used before. Auto boost, we don't want. Auto purge doesn't sound that bad. Automatically purge weapons when they run out of ammo. I don't see why not. Assault armor is how you get, um, how you get Godzilla. <laughs> What's the problem with the sound cookie? Voice might need to be higher. So the voice, my voice is not going to change. The voice, my, where we're at with my voice right now stays the same. We adjust game audio from that. Oh, you're talking about voice and I'm sorry. I thought you meant my voice. You meant in game voice. Okay. Um, let's just see what it sounds like in the first cutscene. I want auto boost. Oh, okay. Cool. Auto purge sounds good. I'm gonna leave it on. I don't know if I used um auto sighting though we need you to yell into the mic so i have a compressor so it shouldn't actually get too loud but i'm not gonna do it <laughs> um i can't adjust my keys is there there probably is custom i'm assuming but maybe you can't do it right now Oh, you know what? They probably don't let you do it right now because the the uh, tutorial or something stupid like that. We're gonna do the tutorial for the record. What is that symbol? It's ominous. There's no words. Oh, collared. That sounds like slave labor. A links management organization under the jurisdiction of the league. They manage all collared ranking issues and organize order matches. Like the league, collared has become a mere shell of what it was intended to be. That's all we get to know about that. <laughs> all right. So let me look at the sound. It's actually not bad for running. I want I want to know what what it's going to sound like once we start shooting. Collard. Collard? What what do you what is that? That what is that phonics? It's collard. I can read. The mean, the name means exactly what it's meant for. That's what I figured. Basic movement B. Okay, so this feels the same. Maybe a little more responsive, but I'm also super light right now. 
Oh, they say it differently? Oh. I'll wait for them to say it then. So everything is still the same. I don't even know how to quick boost. What is the quick boost? There it is. We're going to change that as soon as we get in into it. I can't use both hands at the same time to do different attacks. <laughs> wait a second. That's different. So wait, it doesn't drain your primal armor nearly as much now. Or is that for the tutorial? Potatoes? Potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Dude, pro pilot. Switching weapons! I now have missiles. That fired ate a lot of missiles. Oh. Oh shit. RP's not here. Hold on. I gotta change my title. Armored Core 4. Wait. Armored Core... Wait a second. Core answer. Armored Core for... Wait, they don't have... They don't have art for this game? I don't understand Twitch sometimes. They have art for Armored Core 4, but not for for answer. Sound... Sound seems good so far. Thanks, Erebus. Wait, is... Is Blade different? Wait, did it feel... It felt different for a second there. It also looks way cooler. The HUD does look a little different, I agree. Oh. Blades are smoother for blade battles. What, they optimize the tracking for blades? Oh no, here we go, baby. Assault armor. You press all... Oh, that is awkward. Okay. Press all. Okay, that is awkward. I don't like. I don't like that it's on that button. On those buttons. Wait, why can't I use it? Oh, is it talking? Is it telling me what to do here? Wait, why is it not doing anything? Oh, my. Pri okay, it was telling me what to do. I wasn't paying attention. They're running away. This seems really good for the environment. Oh no. Blading? That feels nice, actually. I like that. It was a railgun? Oh, there's actually builds centered around primal armor use. That sounds pretty cool. Enter pilot name. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. That. Okay, PlayStation keyboard. Come on. No. Cookie? So Cookie, you're not in Armored Core, you're in Final Fantasy. Okay, so they want to select a client now. Select GA as your main client. Select Interior Union or Omer Science. I don't like them. They kill Anatolia. Fuck those people. 
or become an independent mercenary with no client. How big of a deal name my pilot Ham or Pidgey? Are you guys a little biased? One Lynx is specifically built for suicidal explosions. That sounds good. Okay. So client select. The world's largest corporation. It primarily operates as a defense contractor. Their craft proudly display military colors and feature excellent defense and weaponry. Interior Union. The number one high-tech corporation in Europe. They support Taurus and oppose GA. Their craft excel in energy efficiency and utilize power laser weaponry. That's a TELUS, isn't it? Yeah. Omer Science Technology. A military corporation with polit political might on their side. They tend to keep their distance from both GA and the interior. Their crafts are standard, highly maneuverable Rosenthal machines. I actually really like the way that one looks, though. Oh, the same designer for all of them. Okay. An independent mercenary unaffiliated with any corporation. The only available craft is an older Ray, Le Ray Leonard model built for close-range combat. Hmm. So we got the GANO series, the Telus, the Lancel, or the Elia. Alia. I know that's a chain gun you're saying, Aldizin. That looks freaking cool. Uh, what if I went independent? How how bad would that be? Oh, Serene Hayes is Kasumi Sumika. That that I, we, that pilot was there. Yeah, you're right. Or Lynx or designer. Not not a Lynx pilot. I think I'm going to go independent because it looks edgy. So, it's done now. Oh! More than 10 years have passed since the National Dismantlement War. Gasp! A league of corporations has taken control of the world. To escape the pollution that poisons the surface of the planet, they have built massive floating platforms called cradles. Called halos. Only there, 7,000 meters above the ground, is the air clean and safe. Already half of mankind lives in the skies. The planet's surface has become a battlefield where armies fight to control the resource plants that feed the cradles. As the war came to a close, giant humanoid weapons called Armored Core Nexts enabled the League to firmly establish their rule of the planet. Their pilots are called Lynx. Fearing the power and independence of these Nexts, the League left them behind on the surface. The Lynx now work as mercenaries for an organization called Collard. While the League armies derive their power from massive arms forts, the once mighty Nexts are consigned to the poisoned earth, serving as foot soldiers in the never-ending economic war. Chapter one. Collard. So that's it's a it's a name, not a I, I was thinking so is Collard just a play on Collard because they're enslaving the next pilots and making them be foot soldiers? Okay. I'm in Castfall and an AC named Strayed. Cool. Um how's that sound? I know this is probably a little quiet. Um it's probably okay though because it gets really loud. The work Snake! Snake! Partnership. Wait, this is a co-op game. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize it was co-op. Hmm. So this is three years after Armored Core 4? Okay. So we have things to do. Import data, first off. Um. Okay. Interesting. Did I need to like save my data a certain way or something? We don't need to do it right now anyway. I I'll do it later. It was just importing the schematic anyways. Um, yeah, that's weird. I must, I must not have exported something that I was supposed to. I can go back and do it though. It's not a big deal. So I need to change my buttons though. Guessing option. Yeah, I didn't save the schematic. That's what it was. But I, I can go back and do that. Yeah. All right. So you can actually change your pilot name. That's how. Wait. Space. Space. Where's space at? Is 
Is this the garage music right now? I want to cry. We always went green in Armored Core 3. Is green, was green a color on this one? I like that. Um, oh, classic radar, we'll get normal. Zenida HUD, all, ni all nines. Uh, all right, control options, can I make, yes, thank goodness. I was a little worried there for a second. All right, right weapon is R2, quick boost is L1. Left weapon is R2, or R1, rather. So, okay, quick boost, L1, boost, L2. Right weapon, left weapon, shoulder weapon. Okay, everything else is the same. Wait, how do I save it? Press X. <laughs> that that would that seemed overly complex for some reason. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, do we have regulation files in this game? Oh my god, I do. Should I play on 1.40? I, I I updated the game beforehand, so. Wait, what? All parts have zero energy costs. All parts have. Wait. Oh. I probably should play on 1.4. If anyone has a preference or if playing on a certain regulation makes more sense, let me know. I'll do that. Okay, so this is our boy right now. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and paint. I'll leave it on 1.4 right now. I mean, that's the last patch for it. Yeah, we're going to play on that for right now. All right, so I know this is probably not important right now, but I got to do it. I think it was 121 was my red setting. And then these are like in the 30s to tone it down a little bit. I know it's a lot. It's really toned down right there. Wait, uh, what is sub? I want to make that white. I think. Can I skip? There we go. There it is. That's getting better now. Yellow eye? Uh, no. Yes, that's better. Oh, this could always be marked too. Are there so there's more parts in this game, right? Like generally speaking. So perhaps, yeah, we could do that. We'll name it that. I like that. I'm not gonna remake my emblem right now. I want to import that. Uh, I want to go back one. More. Was it? Wait, where was that at? Shit, I don't know where I was at now. It wasn't there. Was it in here? Under options? It absolutely is. Okay. Call it old Mark II. Wait, if it's Mark II, did, did I, no, you need a space still. Wait, did it not? Oh no! Does it not fit? All right, it's just Red Wing. That's okay. Weird, weird addition to make that. Like, look at all that space there under AC name. 
All right, so confirm mission, attack on line arc for the league. Earth. This is your mission. Eradicate the defensive units deployed in the line arc zone. As you know, line arc is the main base of the anti-establishment forces that oppose the cradles. We have tried to negotiate peacefully with these revolutionaries, but they have refused our overtures and continue their violent attacks. This mission is a show of force to encourage the enemy to rejoin negotiations. We never like to resort to violence, but on this occasion, we have no choice. Yeah, it sounds like you don't Lionox like to. Lionox's main weapon, White Glint, is currently operating in another area. It will not become a risk in this operation. Note that this Amazon mission time. is a test run of your capabilities. We trust that you will deliver a successful result. All right, well, that's obviously not Joshua O'Brien. So who the fuck is in White Glint? And that's obviously a different version of White Glint, not the one we blew up. Interesting. I have no idea what this thing has on it, by the way. Cougar's a military company that specializes in building rocket engines. Yeah, no one tell me. I don't want to know. I'm just talk I'm thinking out loud. That's all. I assumed we'd find out. Um, all right. Commence mission. All right, this Destroy red. Destroy all line arc defense I don't units. like it. I don't like this red. A league next. Damn, all of them are really fast. All right, we got a machine gun and a cannon of some sort. Okay. Oh wait, wait, what's on our? We have a blade. Yeah. Oh. So I can actually turn this up a little bit. Can you guys hear everything okay? Oh, they're dead. I I did that, I guess. We're really fast. Confirmed. Half the targets have been destroyed. Oh my god. I need to recharge some energy. Damn! Are we doing any damage? Probably. Primal armor? First we have to break down that primal armor. Only a few targets remaining. Are these normals right here? I our think they are. Our standard weapons are useless. Where are our normals? I think they just died. Wait, what kind of cannon is this with like eight shots in it? Damn. We've confirmed all targets destroyed. Mission complete. Well done. Almost perfect. But Almost. don't get too high in yourself yet, rookie. These enemies were nothing to write home about. These guys sound like punks. Yeah, we need to tone the red down a little bit. It's a little too bright for my liking. Wait, you like the suit? You could so you actually just blow up the platforms and they die. I noticed that. I like ran into I bumped into one with my head and it like collapsed and they all died. So first S rank, no big deal. Okay, so collard order match is now available. Battle it's collard I know. Battle collard links one on one and win it to increase your rank. You can also win rewards by attempting matches. Uh, so this is the, uh, what's it called? The, um, come on, words, um, arena <laughs> for this game. Uh, all right, so defeat a gigabase already. That's the big boys, isn't it? All right, so we need to tune our colors. Oh, tune your crap. Hold on, we need to do this. Do we have any points? Uh, what? So here's why. Why, why do they got to change it? Like, the, I, I like the layout before. This is confusing me now. AF is arms fort. Okay. Um, paint. Giga base, just a giant pontoon with cannons on it. They're essentially flagship dreadnoughts. That sounds cool. Um, damn it. All right. Well, we'll, we'll get the cat back um, once I um, upload the right stuff. So what? Wait, I, I can't. Oh. Oh, it's a plasma cannon. Okay. 
So if I wanted to purchase items, where would I? Where would one? Oh, they have a shop now. Okay, I like the I like the separation of the shop and the and the assembly area. Oh wait, I can't buy parts. Okay, so... Alright. Why don't we fight this dude? Maybe I'll unlock a part. Alright, so we have uh, Kalard Rank 30, Champion Champion. Champion Champs. That's a weird name, dude. AC name is Killdozer. That's a cool name, though. This mercenary is not affiliated with any company. He pilots a dismantled, dismantling machine with steel bulldozer-like arms. His craft is primarily tuned for demolition jobs. As a result, he does not fare well in order matches. So, wait. These little write-ups weren't in Armored Core 4. This is like one... I love these little write-ups they do on the different arena opponents. So I'm happy they brought that back. You like Last Raven set up the most? I agree, Aldison. I did... I mean, Last Raven is, is top tier still. Uh, let's go to the desert. I like fighting in the desert. He has pal drivers. He'll probably one shot me then. Don't say he's useless. I said that in Armored Core 3 one time and got one shot in the arena. So we're not going to go down that path. I want to see how the game feels um, against an enemy next also. Oh, it's a fist weapon. Wait, what? Really? Ah! And missiles apparently. Wait, wait. Bop. Oh. This actually feels a lot better. Like, it feels cleaner than Armored Core 4 did, which I was, I'm kind of surprised by. At first glance, I thought Armored Core 4 would feel better, but that felt way cleaner, actually. It's a wedge shape. That's actually really cool that he had fist weapons, though. I like that. Oh, yeah, we got an arm weapon and the schematic for the Killdozer. He was gonna fist me. Mrs. Teresa in Carion. That's a lot of camo or something. Oh, it matches the emblem. This original has been in action since the dismantlement war. This female lynx is rumored to have taken on a few dirty jobs during Taurus formation, setting her apart from other lynx. She pods a rare former GAE four-legged craft. Doesn't her emblem trigger you? What is that called? There's a, a phobia for that, right? Oh, you play WoW, Erebus. I, I played WoW on the channel for a little bit um, during the Castle Nathria raids. Wait, tri trip tripopho tripophobia? Yeah, that's uh, I, I, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> it's instinctual, yeah. Little holes are not okay. <laughs> Wow. I feel so fast. Wait. Oh, there's no little window when you walk on anymore. I'm gonna die. What is that? Is that a missile? Ooh. Oh, you're a classic Andy on Burning Crusade. Gotcha. Gotcha. I played WoW Classic for a little while. All right, cool. Number two is down. Well, number 29 is down. Dan Morrow. Uh, okay, that emblem's kind of badass. Celebrity Ash. Okay. An independent mercenary who often works with GA. His craft, named after an old comic book hero, is suitable for all around combat. However, he's been reprimanded for a general lack of motivation that causes trouble on the battlefield. I think I might. I want my rifles back. Let's fight an old PC. 
fucking white glint. This is some bulky ass. Are those shoulders or back parts? Those are back parts, I think. What's in them? Question. Can you build white glint in this game or is it very particular? Those are back parts? Okay. Oh, it's for overboost. Ah. We're just going to run at them. How's for answers music as, as in compared to four? I feel like I'm Zex Marquis in the Tall Geese right now. I'm moving so fast I can't control the damn unit. Do you like Forest Tracks better? Is that what's the uh, equivalent of Thinker in this one? Or is Thinker still a song in this one? Do you like everyone liked Fours better, it sounds like? Not as many cat jams. Mm, that's fortunate. Patch the good luck. Wait, is this patches? Patch the good luck in no count. This independent mercenary has more history on the field of battle than most. Piling in a strange, revert, a strange looking reverse legged craft. His favorite combat strategy is to snipe from the air or from concealed locations to catch his opponent off guard. This is the original patches. Well, hold on though. No, I think Demon Souls would have been out already. So, probably not the original patches. Unless somebody knows the release dates for all this stuff. I don't, I don't know when Demon Souls came out in comparison to this. I feel like it came out before this though. I thought there was a reference to someone like Patches earlier in the Armored Core series, though. Like, back when we played through 3. I could be wrong, but I thought there was. I feel like we've had this conversation before. Oh, you can blow buildings up now. Great. Bye, frames. Oh, I couldn't do the... Wait. Do it! No! Blow up! Wait, why can't I blow myself up? <laughs> oh, this game actually predates Souls by three years. Oh, shit. Okay. Then you're right. OG patches. Okay. Prove me wrong. Oh, I don't have an assault armor function. I thought they all had that. Okay. Emerald Raccoon. Raccoon City. So this is Yi and Emerald Raccoon. Oh, so assault armor is based on your overboost. Okay. An up and coming independent mercenary. He's made a name for himself through joint operations with a rank 25 Weiss. The Emerald Raccoon is equipped with a standard long range combat loadout highly accurate missiles and a sniper rifle that's a lot of missiles i don't do well with missiles generally speaking uh maybe we go back to the desert though keep the frames in in the game a lot of missile boxes i'd say there were a good bit right there we'll see what we can do about it technocrat that was they were in, uh four i think weren't they Oh god, don't turn around. I think he's panicking. He can't get a lock on me with his missiles.
Ooh. Yep, we're on PS3 right now, Aldison. You do remember the lighting being different? Might be why your red was funky looking. Oh, uh, that's that's possible, yeah. That's a good point. I think it looks fine now with the toned down color. Like, it, everything looked a lot brighter. So it looks pretty good now, I think. Oh, so we have Scarlet Fox now. We Weiss in the Scarlet Fox. Or Weiss. A young Lynx who was recently ranked by Collard. He pilots a red reverse laid craft tuned for close combat. This fourth generation Lynx cooperates with rank 26 E as he seeks out opportunities to expand his battle potential. I will say it, like I've always said, the whole time we've been playing these games, the arena is the best part of these games. Reading everyone's backstories and then getting to fight them is the best part of all these games. I love it so much. Especially like back in the day with Armored Core 3 where you got all of your lore essentially from the arena. <laughs> well, this track's pretty good. Wait, does, does Plasma Rifles delete Primal Armor? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, so the combination, the weapon combo is actually really good then. Uh, wait, why'd he blow up? He had 5,000 health. Did he try to shoot a missile at me or something? Did you guys see that right there? I must have blew a missile up in his face. You like the HUD telling you how much damage you've taken in the last one second? Wait, it tells you that? I didn't even notice. Well, I'll pay attention next time. Wonderful body with the, uh, the pinup girl emblem. Okay. Don Colonel or Colonel. Don Colonel, probably. All right, so a, formal, a former normal unit, he climbed his way up the ladder from GA's army. His AMS compatibility isn't much to brag about, but he has the catalyst for the new Sunshine Project, allowing pilots of his level to develop top next combat abilities. Luckily, you stripped his PA and then uh, detonated the missile as they launched, probably. Good emblem. I like this guy's backstory. He was a regular pilot, and they, they're, they're apparently developing a system. Wait, so he's like a cyber new type then, right? So this dude is dumb as shit. Oh, because he's not AMS compatible or like the fight is dumb as shit. That head screams psychopath to me. I don't know why. I don't know why, but it looks like a complete psychopath would use that. I like our backstory right now. We're using an old piece of junk that no one wanted anymore and just shitting on people. That was a good track. I, didn't, I like that one. Okay. Francois Narice and Buccaneer. We got a pirate boy. Oh, God. That's... Are those... Wait, what are those? Those look super fucking cool. Leader of the Independent Mercenary Squadron, Corsair. Hey, I have a Corsair mouse. <laughs> In Northern Africa, there are many other similar rogue groups, but Corsair is highly renowned due to Francois's affiliation. His craft is a lightweight tank equipped with laser weaponry. Oh, so they're, they're lasers. They kind of look like lances. I thought that'd be cool if you could, like, stab somebody. <laughs> It'd be cool if they allowed you to pick the track for the fights. Functioning next with active Kojima engine equals junk. Yeah, I don't understand. Why wouldn't there be a, like a track selection for, for the arena matches? Like, that'd be like a really cool feature, I feel like. Oh, wait till the next game for that? Okay. Okay, next we have Canis and Savage Beast. This always happens. I do one arena match and then I just keep going. That actually looks like I drew that dog right there. 
a young Lynx who pilots a well-balanced middleweight biped, technically independent but has close ties to Rosenthal. Unlike Big Mouse, he's known for choosing missions carefully, but don't take his illustrious combat record too serious. Alright. I don't know what he has. It'll be fine. I mean, just stripping him of primal armor then lighten him up with a machine gun seems like it's going pretty well so far. I don't like the camo patterns, if I'm being honest with you. I'm not a big fan. Maybe Rimfire fucked me up. Because isn't it like in Armored Core Last Raven, there's like two necks or two uh, ACs that use the camo pattern? Machine gun spam will never get old. Woo. Try, wait, pff, camera, try 27 layers of custom emblem splattered on a specific angle. That sounds crazy. <laughs> All right, next. Kamasori Johnny in Double Edge. Are you gonna, are you gonna be a, a, a man of the sword? Uh, no, you have a you have pistol? A pistol? An independent mercenary, he's a famous architect known for rather unique design theories. He pilots a lightweight biped craft and loves to get in close and utilize a Kojima blade he borrowed from a mare. A Kojima blade? Okay. That AC design actually looks super cool. I like the, the red and black combo, how they split, like it's split. I like that a lot. I'm a little afraid of this Kojima blade. I feel like it's a one-shot waiting to happen. Don't let him get close. Yeah. I feel like I kind of want to see it, though, at the same time. Do I lose money like in Last Raven? That was the most brutal mechanic in that goddamn game, was the money losing from the arena. Oh, here's a good track. Oh! Right, he's also a fast boy. His armor's back. Blue missile up in his face, I think. Oh! Oh, uh, wait, you stab with the Kojima blade? Johnny goes fast. Oh, I got a part there. Hold on, I've not been looking at this. Have I, have I been getting parts the whole time? I pull in Vera Nork. I like that name. Wait, that name sounds familiar. Was this person in the in Armor Core Four? So you punch with the Kojima blade. Okay. I got a part there. I think. Oh wait, what is this? This is the fist weapon, or the the dozer weapon. Oh, I got the Kojima blade. It looks really cool. I'm not gonna use it though. Oh, we're probably unbalanced right now, actually. That's okay. Oh, you get free play from the start. Alright, so I pull in Vera Nork. Um, an interior female Lynx. Vera Nork features an arm mount of weaponry. Its design hasn't changed much since the Lynx War. A support unit. Her craft is particularly powerful, but if you can't dodge your AS missiles, you're in for a world of hurt. Let's go, number 20. So wait. Isn't White Glint number nine or something like that? So if I get up to number nine right now, can we fight White Glint in the arena? She ranked up or people died. <laughs> Did everyone just die so she went up in rank? Bernard, uh, BF, oh, whatever. Oh, I lost her. Wait, where the fuck did you go? Imagine actually using your, your map to see the missiles coming in. Oh, shit. Hmm. 
That was a pretty cool fight, actually. So I got, oh, I got stabilizers. Hold on. Hold on. What do they look like? You love the missile arms because they're wings? Yeah, they're really cool looking. Wait, what is... Where am I at? Head top. Why would I put that on my head? What is this? Poor lower. <gasps> oh, I love it. It's beautiful. They're going on. I don't care if it makes me slower. Oh, wait. Did it get worse? Hold on. We're at negative three plus zero. So we're pulling to the left a little bit. All right, we're going full Thanos. Everything balanced as it should be. Dosu and Starka. I know it's because of the cannon. Okay, Technocrat's one and only Lynx. He pilots a lightweight craft, but uses a large algebra manufactured physical blade as a weapon. So it's like a pile driver boy. As, much he, as such, he possesses enough attack power to destroy almost an enemy craft in an instant. Oh wait, stabilizers no longer have weight or drain, so I can just stack them on. Okay, that's amazing. That's a great improvement. Thank you for letting me know that. The Raylionard stuff looks so fucking cool. I like that. That's what I have right now, though, isn't that? Yeah, that's me. Oh yeah, the Aaliyah. That's why I like it, see? All makes sense now. We've come full circle. SSR theme plays. Um, wait a second. What is a what is the? Are these the Moto Cobras or what are these things? Oh, they're the Hitman. These were also in four. That is, I thought they kind of look like the Moto Cobras. Okay. May Greenfield and Marygate. Bill, happy smiley face. A female Lynx affiliated with GA. She pilots a standard biped called Marygate. She packs quite a bit of firepower with her missiles, which is why her support is valued and respected. Her nickname, Smiley, comes from her distinctive emblem. <laughs> so derpy. To the desert! That thing looks freaking intimidating. The, uh, the Lahir? I don't know about that. Haru. I mean, that's like Derpy Haro, though. She's, she shot an emblem that we would make, pretty much, yeah. That's about the uh, extent of my art artistic ability. Apparently there's quite a bit of fan art of her. Really? Hmm. <laughs> Rule 34 Haro? No, 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 no. Quite a bit relative to the franchise. Quite a bit relative to the franchise fan size. Okay. So we have Cube and Fragile. That looks kind of scary. Okay. Um, a cyborg and test pilot affiliated with Espino, primarily used for data collection, that has seen many battles. Its craft, Fragile, is a high-speed machine that emphasizes air combat. Many of Lynx have fallen to its inhuman piloting ability. So I'm fighting a robot? It's an AI. So if Silent Line has taught me anything, AI is bad. We must kill AI. <clears throat> so Aldizen, being that you're the, the, the keeper of the art, all thing, the uh, armored core art especially, is there, um, 
I'm surprised there's not like a bunch of fan art of all the different operators and stuff. That's kind of surprising. The purple is pretty cool. This boy is fast as fuck. Holy shit. It's one of the fastest builds on record. You use him on your blade build? That would make a lot of sense. That dude was freaking quick. Takafumi Arasawa and Raiden. Raiden. Uh, what the fuck is on its back? <laughs> the 43rd president of Arasawa Heavy Industries. Some call him Shadow Warrior. He searches for an opponent for his beloved craft, Raiden. Ra Raiden. His craft is the driving force behind all Arasawa technology, a heavy tank type armed with grenades. So we have Barchetta. Better not let that hit you? Yeah, probably not. We're fighting Barchetta. It probably has like 50,000 AP or some shit. If I had to, had to guess, I'd say he's probably got a good bit of, uh, good bit of armor points or whatever it's called now. You, you think the last Kojima cannon was big? It's a bigger one? I hear an overboost going off. Accuracy. Imagine that. Ouch. Alright, I got getting close. This is stupid. He's using my strap for Marshall, so please. Just go backwards and, and hit him with the goddamn rockets. It's always the big boys that get me. Damn it. War car, yeah. Wait, he has the one that unfolds three times? Yeah, the damage is not proportional to that. I mean, it was still fucking scary. Oh, wait, it's like sideways. I see what you mean. There's a flip out twice. That's actually really cool. I can beat him. I just gotta get around him. Maybe not focus so much on the plasma cannon and just getting close. That could be a better strat, maybe. That thing looks wild. The som sombrero? Like, what are those little arms? That fired sideways. I saw where he was looking. Oh, you know, get, oh, get back, get back, get back. Oh, no, no. Whew. There we go. Wait, technically there's bigger weapons in the franchise? And Aretha doesn't count? What's Aretha? All right, so I got more stabilizers, cool. Um, And some schematics, nice. All right, this guy looks cool. Or Shamir, Ravi, Ravi, and Red Rum. 
This lynx is often called Algebra's Femme Arachnid. She pilots an, an insect-like four-legged craft with a slug gun and other slug gun, slug-based weaponry. Best in her element, she loves to get the drop on enemies in adverse battle situation, battlefield situations. Yeah, she looks badass. That's a fucking sick looking unit. All right, well, slug guns mean stay away, I think. Because aren't slug guns just like the bigger version of the shotguns in, the, in these games? Rosenthal, a military corporation affiliated with the League. I guess we'll never know. I waited too long. Maybe not. Whoa! What the fuck was that? Was that a saw armor? Oh, my AP's gone. Or my primal armor, not my AP. My PA. Nice. Wait, what are you guys talking about? When you one in six in AC, well, kill all six ACs with one attack? Wait, what? I caught the wave of UN ACs with Legion Pulse and Reaper? What are you guys, yeah, what are you talking about, Aldison? I'm, I'm lost. AC Morose, okay. Herbis Ornstein, here's the OG Ornstein. Uh, that also looks sick. It looks like a, like a gym head, kind of. The former commander of the Barat Special Forces Unit, this Algebra Lynx is said to be on par with other high rankers. He has been the decider in many a global armaments battle, but his order match win ratio leaves much to be desired. That thing looks sick. What is this happy music playing in the background right now? Give it six streams, then I'll understand. Is that what you're saying? That's a thick boy right there. The new sunshine. Look at that thing. Big old box. GA Global Armaments America. America makes box. Big gun. Whoa, what is that? Why my my plasma cannon shot sideways? This guy's good. Way better than the other ones we fought. I'm not going to ever hit him with the plasma cannon, so just keep using machine guns. We have a lot of ammo left, yeah. Woo, got him. <laughs> well, at least six streams, depending on how things go. You beat all these games, so if it's game related, then it's something you probably know. Vibing to the battle music. That was a good fight. I got more leg parts um, and a bunch of uh, schematics. Cool. All right. Oh, wait. Blindfold. We fought this person. Um, an Aldra Lynx who has been involved since the Lynx War. His craft, Blindfold, has been modified to fit Aldra's first full frame. A former soldier for the national military, he knows his stuff and he has the firepower to prove it. He was. We saw that that unit many a times on the loading screen. Ugh, Cougar, Sunshine L. 
don't think cougars have wings. All right, let's get it. Very dramatic music for this arena match. I'm dangerously close to them, Tim. That's what I just thought of. Machine guns sound way better in this game. They fixed the audio for that. And this is like way less jarring sounding. Um, Rezaya and Ruler. That's pretty sick looking actually. A female links from Omer, although only rank 12, she is trusted with many key operations. Her next, dubbed Ruler, is geared for offense, utilizing support boosters to enable lightning fast intercept maneuvers. Um, I don't... I don't know what a support booster does, but if it's like Last Raven, it makes you real fast. So this will be real fast. Algebra. I like the color scheme. I don't know how I feel about the. I don't like reverse legs in these games. I like bipeds, which I've, it's kind of obvious that everything I've built is a biped. Except for the one tank boy in um, Silent Line. Oh, here we go. I like this music. Oh! She's real fast. Oh god, that was a blade, I think. That unit looks freaking dope, though. Dario Empio and tr Transcend. This Rosenthal Lynx has made his name known in recent years. He's ambitious and power hungry and not afraid to show it. Transcend is based on new standard model Lancel parts and features a wide array of, er, wide array of weaponry, making it quite versatile. It looks pretty cool. That's a chain gun. I'm a little afraid of chain guns though, because if they get a beat on me, just like with my machine gun, I'm going to die. Because I'm like a little paperweight flying around. That uh, shoots a lot of bullets out. The plasma rifle machine gun combo has been really good. Plasma cannon, probably not rifle. Don't fear chain guns, really? I should have broke the primal armor. They're only slightly stronger with reload time. Okay, fear chain guns. <laughs> so I, I thought that, um, I was thinking when we say chain gun, I always think back to the chain guns in Armored Core 3, and they're really strong in Armored Core 3. All right, let's tune this bad boy up. So we probably want to do energy output first, right? I saw we had some FRS memory, so. Oh, also, before I forget, let's just save the game. We've not done that yet. That's always a good thing to do. Let's save the game. Armor Core 3's chain guns are just full on rifles with machine gun rate of fire. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So we have Ari and Krasnaya. Krasnaya? Krasnaya? I said that right. What are you saying there, Pidgey? Ari Krishna? Krasna is the only way to spell it. Other way to spell it? One of the higher ranked independent mercenaries, 
Although he's a combat genius, he can only fight for short periods of time due to his unique AMS aptitude. He may, may have once been affiliated with Espina. These are, well, you know what? Espina is the reason that Anatolia was destroyed, so we're going to beat all these motherfuckers down. It does look pretty cool. I like it a lot, too. What is this big old... This is a... Uh, Collard, right? Or no, this is... um. Line arc is the other one. Where's my text at? Text. Oh, the League. Never mind. The League of Ruling Companies. Never mind. Okay. Running, running, running. Boosting. I missed. Gasp. There, that hit. Now you die. Oh, got to reload. Primal armor comes back so fast in this one. I guess because of the, the assault armor mechanic, right? It has to. That kind of had a, a, a sasabi look to it with the, with the all red and green. The green eye. Oh no, unknown in white glint. A link's affiliated with the anti-league power line arc. He, here, he, wait, hold on a second. What? A link's affiliated with the anti-league power line arc. Hers is an original craft by the master architect Abu Marsh. Although still ranked nine, she is well known as a top class next. She took down an entire company solo during the Link's war. Is that supposed to be us from Armored Core 4? But it specifically says we're a dude in Armored Core 4, and unless this is Fiona. But I thought Fiona died. You'll see. Will I actually see? Did I actually tell you the answer to that question? No one, no one answered the question. I just, I'm thinking out loud again. But I feel like there's got to be something going on with that, right? All right, well, let's see how strong a white glint is in this game. I see a lot of boosting going on already. I missed. Fuck. Hold on. No, chill. You're not the real white glint. He's dead. He died like a bitch. I defeated White Glint. I am now the master. Well, I mean, I beat him before too. All right. Oh wait, this dude's still alive. Wong Shao Long is still out there fucking shit up. Strix Quadruped. Hmm. What baffles you, Aldizen? This Lynx is shrouded in mystery. Save for his connection with the BFF in his old age, he pilots a four-legged long-range sniping craft and refuses to stray from his support combat style, unchanged from the dismantlement war. Wait, so some 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 sombrero's arms have the lowest firing stability? Aren't, wasn't that the little the little baby arms? Even though technically they're, they're the most rigid. Huh. Oh, he got lighter. Is this the lighter version of his craft? Yo, I kinda like the new sunshine. The more I look at it. Like I kinda wanna make a, a thick boy around that. Looks kinda sick. Dude, I can't close that. Come here, Grandpa. Look, 
looks sick though. Forest protagonist was already, already supposed to be old, and he's in four answers. Damn. Grandpa is still what was he ranked number eight? Roy Salon and My Bliss. This Lynx is the highest ranked independent mercenary affili affiliated with Collard. He's a plain and emotionless man, but his craft is a rare Hilbert model, formerly piloted by Aldra. He utilizes his craft's heavy weaponry with deadly efficiency. Okay. So I have a question, or I guess more of a comment. It seems like the arena in this game is a lot easier than the arena in like the older generations, like exponentially easier. Is that like a relatively common feeling that people have about it? Because like, I got my ass kicked in the last Raven arena and even threes got had some hard parts to it. Okay, it's meant to be, everyone thinks it's easy, okay. Imagine having the advantage and then fucking up your boost then. Got it. Yeah, that was kind of uh, unimpressive. 4A's arena doesn't have extra AI. Okay. But on but in missions their AI have their the AI has special patterns. Okay. So what you're saying is this is not a good representation of the piloting abilities of these different Lynx pilots. So this is Les An Anis Full in Stiletto, who was also from Armored Core 4. AI are much more difficult in story. That makes sense though. Because even in Armored Core 4, um, a lot of the AI was super easy to fight. That's a Kojima rifle, I think. An original from the from the Dismantlement War, she pilots the same energy-focused tank-type craft that she did in the Lynx War. After the war, she played a pivotal role in Interior's rush to power. Her combat style is simple and reliable. I mean, so is mine, though. The nice thing is we're going to have money after this. To buy parts that aren't available. And if you play three or Silent Lines Arena, you can exploit the AI's blindness in the factory arena. Yeah, but I mean, we did all of three in Silent Line fair and square in the regular arena zone. All right, I gotta quit fucking around with her. All right, we have, we have we got it. Woo. Oh, just bringing up a point that arena matches don't represent. You're yeah, good point. Uh, I got something right there. Axis, whatever that is. Gerald Gendin and oh wait, nobody's obliged is still alive. Wait a second, is that a different name though? Okay, yes, it is, because it's, it's a different emblem as well. He's the successor to the Noblesse Oblige, regarded as the symbol of Rosenthal. Its shoulder-equipped multi-laser unleashed uh, multi-lasers unleash astounding firepower. High AMS aptitude and mental stability make Gerald an ideal Lynx for the League's ranks. Different pilot, he died, remember. He, he died on, um, yeah, the Burly Squad killed him, okay. Because you guys said that hard move was canon where they all died. Right. I like that technocrat craft right there. I think I said that twice already, but oh wait, that's the oh, it's because um it's like the Salaf, but different. Right? Yeah. But it it says Salu now. Is it like the upgraded version of it? You are Russian? Is that a Russian uh, is that company Russian? See your giant cannons. Pull them out, big boy. Oh god, he pulled them out.
That, that unit does look really cool. The Technocrat represent the USSR in this game. Oh, we got Hogar stuff. Nice. Oh, wait, we're unlocking parts too. Hold on. Actually, you know what? Oh, no. Wait, why is feedback rank so high now? This dude was like number 30 something. Now he's number five. My arch nemesis has returned. An, inexper an experienced pilot who continues to pilot an outdated craft armed with bazookas. He makes up for low AMS aptitude with battle experience. He's one of the few survivors from the Lynx War and one of GA's top Lynx. All right. Oh, he's number four, actually. I can't read. You doubt you can do the corner sit to break arena AI since it's different patterns? Oh, okay. Are you talking about the corner sit you did yesterday in for Marge Asa Police, where you made them like retreat and then hit them with the Kojima cannon? Yeah. All right, let's see if he fucks me up again. My dude has to have something wrong with him. All these turns, man, they would just fucking destroy your body. But you guys said that like the, the, the cockpits of the, the next did something to, to deal with the G's from how fast they are. All right, Rudy, you were much more scary in the previous generation. Windy Funchon and Redder Palosh. Hey, that's a weapon in Bloodborne. That also looks sick, actually. I like the the the, uh, the emblem. Very 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 plain. Interiors female links, often referred to as GA's disaster, also known as the Brass Maiden, by many frontline soldiers. Her craft, the Redder Palosh, is lightweight but strikes hard. An aggressive links who is famous for never failing a mission. It's funny the uh, the Firekeeper in Anne Orlando has bronze armor. So wonder if there's like a little Crumbsoft thing there. And obviously Ryder Palash is a weapon in Bloodborne. So carried through. That's a wonky, I, it's so wonky looking. I, I kind of want to make one now. There's tons of references to these games. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, Moonlight, the big one, that's all from soft games, right? Oh God, I need you to land for one second, please. There we go. You think Redder Palash would have a blade on, unless she does. Ooh. Okay, that's a big ass sword, holy shit. What the fuck is that? That looked terrifying. What's up, Murder Beans? A lot of stuff based on the original flagship, Kingsfield. So I, I've heard of Kingsfield. I never played it, though. Uh, we got the schematics for the... Okay, cool. Nice, nice, nice. Willem Walcott in Ambient. Moonlight became renowned in AC and Souls. Yeah. A female Lynx who inherited the prestigious Wolcott name. She is the new princess of Wong Shao Long's treasured BFF. But her graceful disposition sets her apart from the late Mary Shelley. She pilots a frontline offensive craft. And is also number two. But the Moonlight also appeared in Ninja Blade and Metal Wolf Chaos. Isn't Metal Wolf Chaos like FromSoft's attempt to make the West interested in mecha stuff? Another Hydrate. Alright, damn. You guys should hydrate too. Take a drink of water. It's more like Frontstop not giving a damn. Oh. <laughs> I know it's like way over the top, isn't it? What is that red beam? That looks cool. Well, on one of those. Oh, I'm dying though. So I should stop dying. Ah. 
I'm literally killing myself by doing this. There we go. Cool. You're sorry, I look dehydrated in a good way? I don't know how to take that. <sighs> Number one. Atsdarva. Oh my god, it's like Atsdrava from Demon Souls, but it's Atsdarva in Stasis. That's like a damn near the same name. <laughs> Formerly from Ray Leonard, this, Omer's, this is Omer's trump card. His home is the battlefield where he developed ingenious battle strategies. His mid-range attack style ignores all limitations of his Lahir frame. Evidence of his estrangement from Omer. I butchered his right up, but fuck it. Let's get him. I don't like that. Starlight looks bad. I don't think that the, the GA units should have quad legs. That looks awkward. I missed the hydrate? Oh, there are three. Oh shit. I might not make it now. Oh, come on. What the fuck is that? Get your orange beams, sir. Oh, I got him. All right, death time. Oh, he has half the wings on, I think. Like, nobody's obliged. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, what do I get? I'm number one. Oh, wait, that's not it. What is that? I don't know what that is. I am number one. He was number one. All Kalar next defeated. Do I get like a... I miss emails. Where's the emails at? Saying that I'm a, I'm a good boy. Oh no, where am I at here? Wait, I want... There we go. Alright, well... That was cool. <laughs> the arena kind of went pretty quick. Did we get anything else? We got a Kojima rifle. Just plasma cannon. Any... Can we buy anything now? Oh shit, we unlocked all kinds of stuff to buy. Look at that. We're a real, a real Lynx pilot now. Where's my uh, Moto Cobras at? That looks fucking sick. Is that thing strong? Is this a good weapon? Someone tell me yes or no. I want this thing right now. It looks so fucking cool. I'm rich. I'm buying it. All right, I'll take a drink. I have to pee, so I'll be back in a second. You guys think about that for what I asked. Thanks, Cookie, for your insight on the on the part. It's a laser blade with high penetration. Okay. 
Wait, there are three endings, by the way? Oh, so we're gonna play this game a lot, is what you're saying? Or we're gonna have multiple playthroughs or multiple mission select stuff? <gasps> the Altair. That's a very interesting looking laser rifle. Wait, where's my blade? I, did I, I bought it already, that's why it's not here. Yeah, I'm not gonna look anything up. I like the, yeah, the blade looks like a shield. I think it looks cool. Um, all right, so do I want a gun that looks like a sword to show a blade? Wait, oh, a blade that looks like a shield, a gun that looks like a sword, yeah. It'd be cool if there was a combination. Like, I feel like with these guns, you should be able to smack somebody with them. There should be like blades, that'd be cool. Yeah, like a gun blade. <laughs> yes, down, exactly. I don't like the way those look at all. Yo. If you could take that stupid little antenna off, that head looks fucking sick. And a sword that looks like a bracer. Alright, I do like this Ek 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 Hazar head. Ek Hazar head. Oh, I like that a lot. That's the, the Salu head. Well, the Saloth, now it's Salu. Yeah, this might be the move right here. Is this head bad? What's, what's, let's see. PA durability is a lot worse. Rectification. Oh, it's not a PA based. I, ne neither of the ones I like are, of course. Oh, the head I have on is way better than all of them, actually. Time to pay attention to head stats again. Wait, why? Like, uh, are you talking about camera functionality and system recovery? I don't know what those two things are, but they sound important. Sighting, yeah. Alright, so this has more AP, more stability. PA goes down, rectification goes down, energy defense, ballistic. So it's... What is the... What is the... The perks of this? Oh, stability, energy recovery... Average speeds higher, boost durations better, total weights better, total energy cost is way better. I kind of want that. Maybe we change the arms first, because I don't like those arms. Those are pretty cool looking. I don't have the Hogar arms out. I like the Hogar arms. What are those? Who are these? Oh, machine gun arms. Okay. Missile. Oh, those are the missile arms. Those do look pretty cool, actually. I like those. All right. I think we go for the the, the Lancel arms for right now. I think that's it. We'll just put the different arms on for right now. I bought the blade for the wrong arm. Typical. rifle oh wait where's my uh I don't have it unlocked yet okay a lot Aaliyah always reminds you of the, the classic racing cars with the streamlined forms and the air intakes yeah I can see that I get where you're coming with that definitely the body it looks like a formula one car the core rather not the body I like that rifle look too, Pidgey. Oh, 
We're gonna be heavy on one side now, I bet. Oh, not really. It's actually not that bad. Oh, that actually looks kind of cool. Get some Gurren Logan shit going on real quick. I like these so much. Please let me, make, how bad is it gonna fuck me up? Actually not that bad. So we're gonna hang to the right a little bit. Just do that. Wait, there are hundreds to unlock and buy. Wait, what are you talking about? The thing is like a, the size of an apartment complex. What are you referring to right now? Oh wait, there's like hundreds of stabilizers. That's actually really cool. I'm gonna spend a lot of time here then. Where is this going? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that looks so sick. Not on those arms though. What is this? Where is this going? Inside. I'm not sure how mission layouts in this game are, like... I think a machine gun would be okay for right now. Um, I probably will end up going with a rifle at some point. Machine guns are always good for, for next fights, though, especially in, like, an arena setting. Ho oh, oh. Yeah, tracking's a lot better in this one. <laughs> the movement feels really good in this one. I don't know if it's because I'm using a lightweight and I wasn't before, but like, goddamn, does it feel nice. Okay, anything else that I want to do to this boy right now? We still don't have a lot of ammo. You know what? It's probably fine. We could do a mission. Let's do a mission. Um, What's commission versus regular missions? Oh, probably how many things I destroy or something like that. Here's your mission. The client is GA America. The objective is the Interior Union Force based at the Mimir Naval Port. You'll be supplied with a generous amount of ordnance. Don't let up on the attack until ordered to withdraw. The more damage and destruction you cause, the better your pay will be. This information is unconfirmed, but we believe a new model arms fort is in dock for maintenance and supply. If it's there, don't let it get away. The client is offering a special bonus for its elimination. Well, that's about it. This is a good deal for the right links. We'll be waiting to hear from you. I kind of like the, the company um, mission thing again. Like, that wasn't really present in... Um, the, the readings weren't really present in Last Raven or Armored Core 4. I like that they brought that back. I don't think I want to bring the plasma cannon to a mission like this. Do I have any other options for cannons right now? Wait, what's the weight difference on this bad boy? Oh, it's like 2,000 pounds heavier. Just... 
I like that the, that Armored Core for answers also allowed you to um install all of your 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 game data, like your your game, because you don't have to worry about load times being as long as an Armored Core four. At least that's what it said when the game booted up. I don't know if it's true or not. It feels like they're not too bad. The Gearman chain gun. Oh my god! Look at that flip over like that. This feels better for a mission with a lot of things to blow up in. It, I did not expect that to be how it worked. So it like flips over and then puts the magazine down there. That's super interesting. Huh. This is why this is your second favorite armored core. What's your first, Pidgey? Is it Last Raven? You can definitely tell they took everything they learned from Armored Core 4 and like optimized all of it here. Now, I don't know. Oh, Armored Core 3. Yeah. That's all the that's the nostalgia though hitting us in the chest. I don't know um I think frame rate still is going to be an issue in this one once we start blowing shit up, but it's okay. It be it is what it is. Armored Core 1 is your, is your third. Armored Core 1 is really fun. I want to go back and play that at some point. It's been like forever, so it'd be cool to return to that. Commence mission. Destroy all enemies inside the combat zone. Time is limited. Move quickly. I'm too fast. It's, you know how much money we just spent? We just destroyed instantly. Oh wait, Kasumi Sumika is also your operator? Like for the entire game? than I thought they would. The ones in four felt like they would not be destroyed ever. <laughs> also, I think frame rate, at least in this mission, feels a lot better, which I'm kind of surprised by. I thought that it was gonna dirt out. As I say, well, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on here though. Three minutes remaining. I got three whole minutes. I missed something back here. This area looks clear. Head elsewhere. Time is of the essence. Arms fort confirmed. Oh shit. That's our bonus target. Prioritize it. I'm like really surprised that the frames are being a lot better. Like that thing is collapsing right Two now. So they figured something out. God, we've killed we, we've billions of dollars down the drain here. Confirmed. All targets destroyed. Mission complete. Excellent results. I'm impressed. What's the next co-op gonna get, game gonna be? Um, so I think right now, Cookie, we're thinking about playing some Final Fantasy 14 together, uh, me and RP, uh, until we decide what else we want to play. 
So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna progress to he's he's currently playing through the main story I finished everything, but I'm gonna help him out when he gets the dungeons and stuff um, So we're at least gonna do that this Sunday. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do moving forward We might try um, it takes not not it takes two. We just did that um, But a way out is an option and we had a few other ones on the list um, that we might look into that I will get back to you on because yeah, he has the list uh, at least in his head, it's not in my head. So, we wiped out a whole nation right there. Well, oh, rip. <laughs> Ambush sphere invasion forces. But I think it'd be cool um, to give everybody a look this at Final Fantasy XIV. This request is coming from the Bernard and Felix Foundation. They want you to take out the enemy forces assaulting Omer's sphere. Some big shot of the BFF has drawn up the mission plan this time. So, you better listen up. Right now, the enemy forces are moving through White End towards the Sphere. Blast through their rear column using the VOB and take out as many units as possible along the way. Once you've penetrated the front line, turn around and engage the survivors. So the plan says. It's not a bad plan. You shouldn't have any problems. We'll look forward to hearing VOB from you. VOB's the big booster, right? I want to see what this thing looks like. Do we get a launch sequence or are we just going to like take off? Like are we mid flight when the game loads in? I wonder. I'm really interested based off that last mission and how the frames are pretty stable. I want to see what they're going to be like during one of the, um, mission. one of the bigger fights. Use the VOB to break through the advancing enemy force. Do as much damage as you can on the way, and the rest of the mission will be a cakewalk. Uh, this is like hard to aim. We're fast as fuck. I feel like I'm gonna run out of ammo. VOB nearly depleted. Prepare for normal battle maneuvers. VOB depleted. Right, let's see what it like. Destroy all remaining enemy units. Oh, it just falls off. Hang in there. Okay. Uh, they're behind me now, aren't they? Are those tanks right there? Oh, I need a new FCS. That lock on range is kind of trash. You reduce the enemy forces by half. Stay focused and we'll pull through. I didn't see guys on the ground before. Wait, guys in the sky first. Alright, let's play these boys. You're stuck on the crevasse! Unfortunate. Wait, does the shield open up when we swing? I think it does. No, it doesn't. Is there more over here or something? Oh. map is larger than most game worlds. Wait, am I missing something here? Oh, they're way back there? Okay. Um.
Where the fuck are they? Oh, I hear, I hear helicopters. Man, maybe I should have put a radar on. Oh, wait, there they are. Confirmed. All targets destroyed. So there goes my complete. S rank. Maybe we should throw a radar on for that purpose right there. That's why I didn't get an S, I guarantee it. That's unfortunate. All right, new parts unlocked. I got some rifles right there, I think. I wonder if a if a if there's a lightweight radar we could toss on that would be somewhat feasible. Oh, it's gonna put us over leg capacity though. Nope, never mind. I will not do that. Okay, so attack on Richland. Confirm mission request client from GA. What do we do? Why don't we do, um, we'll do that one, I guess. So I can do all of these, right? This is the mission. The client is GA America. The target is the algebra forces guarding the Richland agricultural plant. Your task is extremely simple. We want you to destroy all enemy units. There's one catch. The enemy has commandeered a GA manufacturing transport. The client could not give us many details, but it sounds like it's going to give you some trouble. Oh yeah, like before, we can provide you with support next. Oh mission. shit! Let me know if you want to draw on these resources. Anyway, that's all. It's a dangerous job, but the pay makes it worth your while. Let us know if you're in. So eventually it selects a path for you. I want to defeat the Gigabase, but I don't want to progress the story past chapter one yet. I don't know if it will. Did this game support couch co-op? This is your mission. Your target is the Arms Fort Gigabase, currently escorted by the BFF 8th Fleet. The convoy is sailing south through the Northwest Sea. The 8th Fleet is a powerful force made up of large cruisers and other smaller vessels. However, the fleet itself is not your target. Don't waste ordnance on it. Okay. Use a Vanguard Over Boost Unit to accelerate past the escorts directly to the Gigabase. Get in close and destroy the target as quickly as possible. Good. In addition, the Union will pay you a bonus for the destruction of the supply vessels. You can ignore the other secondary targets if you wish. That's all. So it says, don't destroy the other Union things, but actually destroy other things. You. We hope you can take this on. All right. So the mission would be red if, uh, it, was gonna, if, if it was advancing the chapter. Oh, it also support online co-op. That's actually really cool. So we could actually use Parsec and do couch co-op in this game if we wanted to. I don't know if you guys know what Parsec is. It's a way to like VPN into somebody's system and play with them. It's actually really cool. Uh, me and RP did it to play um, Mario Tennis. <laughs> Destroy the Arms Fort Gigabase. It's being escorted by the 8th Fleet. Use the VOB to close in on Gigabase. Watch out for long range fire. This arms fort is a defensive you don't stronghold. Use putty for that. Don't I know underestimate what putty its is. firepower. Oh, well. Putty's for serial communication. What are you talking about, Pippi? Approaching the edge of the combat zone. 
Oh, am I too high? POB depleted. Purging. You're in close. Sink gigabase as quickly as possible. Stop wasting time. Are you serious? Is she yelling at me right now? What do I do? Got a hole in it. Mission complete. It is actually insane how much smoother this game is. I didn't think it was gonna be that different. I, I didn't. Were we trying that? I can get an I can get Ness in that. I got hit. That was the problem. Commence mission. Destroy the Armsford Gigabase. It's being escorted by the Eighth Fleet. Use the VOB to oh, close unless they want me to base. do part of the bonus objective. That could have been Watch what it was. Watch out for long-range fire. This arms fort is a defensive stronghold. Don't underestimate its firepower. Fast as fuck. Depleted. Prepare for normal battle maneuvers. VOB depleted. Purging. Good, you're in close. Sink gigabase as quickly as possible. Stop wasting time. Confirmed. Gigabase has been destroyed. Mission complete. That's surely an S rank. Global, global Protect is your VPN. I don't use a VPN service. There's my S rank. Thank you. All right. Um, support the Red Beret Assault sounds fun. Oh, we're picking... Wait, are the paths based on who you help? Let's see what's going on over here. Okay, here's the mission. The client is Omer Science Technology. The objective is to destroy the defenses at Taurus Corporation's B-7 deep mining facility. The main enemy force consists of normals and autonomous drones. Depending on how uh, many of them there are, boys. they should be no problem for a next. The automated defense systems will try to close the external barricades. You have permission from the client to destroy them. This shouldn't damage the facility itself. Breathing over. This is an excellent opportunity for you to strengthen ties with Omer Science Technology. Not a bad deal, right? I mean, I don't know how I feel about them. They kind of destroyed Anatolia. Or was that CeeLo in particular? Or was it Omer who pushed them to do that? Does anybody know? Should I know that answer? If I shouldn't know it, don't tell me. But if I should, tell me. The world's largest corporation. Oh wait, the economic hub of the Pacific Commence Rim. Mission. Eliminate all enemy defense units. An unidentified craft has infiltrated the facility. It is believed to be an enemy next. Triple kill. All units assume battle ready formation. Silo was the bad egg, okay. So what you're saying is I don't have to hate Omer then. Blading feels way better in this game. I mean, yeah, all the corporations I'm sure are shitty to some extent. I could agree with that. Confirmed. Half the targets have been destroyed. Guard men control switching to A10. Dude, he's tanky boy. All right, he's dead. Enemy target 
units remaining. Normal Ooh. units en route from HQ. Enemy reinforcements inbound. Coming in from above. Ooh, what the hell hit me right there? Do these games still do hidden parts? Or is that a third generation and, and before thing? That makes sense. Yeah, you're, you're kind of moving around way too fast to like pick a part up in these games. I'm still like stunned at how smooth this is running. I'll, I'll take a B. I kind of deserve that. You miss Fiona as the operator? She definitely felt more sincere. All right, got some new schematics. Sumika's edgier though. She's more of a step on me kind of operator, whereas Fiona was more uh, passive. I still want a different head part. Oh, it's lighter too. Camera functionality is better. Sys I don't know what system recovery means though. So that would be a problem. What's the matter? Can't stand the sight of a strong Nord woman. Is that from uh, Skyrim? Look at that Holofernes. It looks fucking wild. I do like this head a lot. Worse PA rectification, better camera, worse system recovery. I'm doing it. I don't care. I'm sending it. Yes. I fucking love it. Look at that. Oh, you know what? It looks like, um, you ever, you ever, have you guys ever heard of Pat Labor? Pat Labor? I'm probably saying it wrong. It's a, like, a mobile police. It's an old mech anime. That's what it looks like, kind of. All right, so clear former Chinese Shanghai, support the Red Beret assault, or attack on Richland. Let's do this one. This is the mission. We already heard this briefing. Uh, who should we bring with us? Let's bring Celebrity Ash. He only takes 15% of the cut. And we probably don't even need help, but I want to bring help. Yo, Latona looks kind of... Kind of dope. I don't know how I feel about the legs, but the, the rest looks kind of cool. Hmm. I have to make a note of that one. Oh, so interior union is, is Leo, Leon Mechanica and Malise combined. Okay. Commence mission. Arms Fort Land Crabs confirmed. Intel was right on the money this time. They're standard models, but don't underestimate them. Proceed with caution. Don't waste ammunition on its front. Circle around it while avoiding the main cannon's firing radius. What do I hit then? Celebrity Ash has arrived. Let's do this. You'll be happy to have me around, if I do say so myself. I love this dude. Is he our Land Apple Boy? Destroyed. Is he the Apple Good. Boy equivalent now of just this game? Up the small fry. 
Let's clean up and go home. I'm pretty sure that thing hurts you if it blows up next to you. No, don't compare him to the Bama boys. I hated those dudes from Last Raven. No, that's my kill. Oh, I missed. I think it's time you fought a real opponent. Confirmed. All targets destroyed. Mission complete. It is still blowing my mind how much smoother this game is. Finally over. They were no match for us. After all, they're only standard model AFs, right? Yeah, he looks pretty cool. The track right here is also pretty good. Yeah, he pretty much, he, just, he was a pretty face. That's about it. All right, so support the Red Beret Assault or clear former Chinese Shanghai. I don't know how I feel about it, Interior Union. Let's do, um, let's do this. Here is your mission. The client is Omer Science Technology. Your objective is to destroy the fleet currently docked in the port of former Chinese Shanghai. Who was that? The fleet is a combination of GA America and BFF forces, and includes a number of special edition normals. However, we don't believe these weapons would give you much trouble. That looks cool as fuck. The client wants you to coordinate with support units. Battlefield strategy is up to you, of course, but there's no need to be a hero. Oh, number one's gonna be here. That is all. Well, I'm number one. Number two is going to be this here. This is a rare chance to improve your relationship with Omer Science Technology. Not a bad deal, don't you think? I don't know yet, Omer. We'll see. He wants 60% of my monies. But he looks cool as f well, Oh, listen, money's not an issue right now. Let's just bring him with us. And his name, Otsdarva, almost like Otstrava. Like, gotta do it. Gotta do it. You said, well, you said the, the dialogue thing, which I'm interested in, so. Commence oh, mission. Go. Eradicate the enemy fleet and enemy arms fort. Use your support. You didn't bring them for sightseeing, right? Ready to go yet? Don't get too nervous now. I'm not babysitting you on this operation. Oh, fuck off. I regret bringing this dude. As I kill everything. Wait, that's Gohan's voice? Really? That's actually pretty cool. Alright, this thing probably got big guns. Confirmed. Half the targets have been destroyed. Arms Fort Gigabase identified. It may be a relic, but it's still an arms fort. Don't ah. it. You feel so fucking powerful in this one. Gigabase has been destroyed. Let's clean up the rest and finish this. Only a few targets. Like, what do they do to the engine that it runs so much smoother now? When Ot Starva and when Ot Stra when Ot Starva dies in the mission, he says something funny. Really? Well, so uh, he probably won't die in this one, I don't think, based on how it's going already. Confirmed. Oh. All targets destroyed. Mission complete. Looks like mission accomplished. Well, it is what it is. I'm just trying to land on the building. Come on. Oh, that was my cool finish. S rank. Oh, he took 60. Yeah, that's fine. Give him the money. I did all the work again, but it's fine. Defeat AF Cabrican. Uh, arms for it, Cabricane. And defeat the spirit of Mother Will. Are these both important? Alright, this is your mission. The client is GA America. 
The target is Algebra's attack transport arms fort, Cobra That looks intimidating. Cobra Khan is protected by a very thick sheet of armor, and is impossible to take down with standard next weaponry. I don't mind telling you that it's a real headache to deal with. Is However, keep that little PowerPoint the thing does have a weak point. If you can manage to get under the skirting on Reddit's base, you'll be able to take out the tracks and bring it to a halt. That's all we need you to do for this operation. Frankly, the top brass don't have all the details themselves. What they do know is that this arms fort could become a serious threat. Anyone taking this job will be well compensated. We hope to hear from you soon. Okay, so hold on. I'm not gonna do this right now. If I do that mission, can I still do Mother Will or no? I'll save just in case it doesn't work. Yeah, so we're gonna save and do that and then we'll, we, we can reload if, if we can't do it. Cause I, I do wanna see this, this mission. Sounds cool. Mother Will is like the first big battle, so my frames are gonna get fucked is what you're saying. All right, it's okay. Maybe they won't, you never know. I could be hopeful. Oh, it's a longer loading screen. That means bigger mission. So how am I gonna get underneath this thing? Commence mission. Oh, it's red. Destroy the arms fort Cobracon. Powerful mines are scattered all over the combat zone. Stay alert now. Oh, they fucking wrap around? What a bullshit. The most accurate missiles in, in history. That way. Itself up. What is it doing right now? There goes the frames. Understandable in this situation, though. How the fuck do I get in there? Oh my god! Oh wait, it lifts up. Capricorn has halted. Wait, this isn't over yet. What's happening? It's shedding its armor? What's in there? Uh-oh. What? Drones? Their numbers are oh, insane. Oh, shit. We have to take all of them out? What? I'm gonna stay in here, I think. Wait. Wait a second. How the fuck do I get out of here? Guys, like... This is GA's Arms Fort Unit. We're en route to your position. Give us a little time. I'm stuck. Oh. The cavalry, huh? Looks like they knew about the situation. Woo. They just left us in the dark. Woo. You hear that? They're coming to reinforce us. Alright, frames under I'll take the frame drops here. It's understandable, in my opinion. This is beyond a PS3's capabilities already. Look at progress is slower than expected. We won't arrive on schedule. Oh! Sorry, we're doing the best we can. Shut up. Fucking GA America. Thanks, guys. Let me, I help you with all these missions, you leave me to die. The missiles will probably be really good for this mission. There's just so much going on right now. Our reinforcements have entered the combat zone. Can they shoot something? Yep, you're please? waiting, huh? Commencing attack. Good work, Lakes. I'm 
Almost out of ammo. Are they going to shoot anything to help me out? Oh, I was really high up right there. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do to this? Look how high up. Where's the, where's my allies at? Let's go to them. Oh. <laughs> what is this support fire they're providing right now? I got one. I mean, they're doing something, I guess. We're going to be here a while, though. I can help expedite the process a little bit. They fly up really high though. Hey, look at that. Like what the fuck is that? Stay in the combat zone. Shut up. Where's my, I need ammo. Can we eat some? Can someone drop me a weapon? Well, we weren't good at what what is this thing doing? What the fuck was that? I have no words. Commence mission. I have no words for this. Destroy the arms for Cobra Con. That was the most bullshit I've ever felt in my life. Zone. Stay alert now. can kill it. All right, here we go. Ooh. Copricon has halted. Wait, this isn't over yet. Be very conservative on our, on our ammo usage here. That is pretty cool, though, that it has a bunch of drones inside of it. What? Drones? Their numbers are insane. We have to take all of them out? We could just leave. Alright, I gotta 
clear some out so my frames don't die. I may have underestimated the number of drones last time. This is GA's on sports. Shut up, you are useless. We're to your position. Give us a little time. Oops. The cavalry, huh? Looks like they knew about the situation. They just left us in the dark. You hear that? They're coming to reinforce us. Hang in there. I got it this time. Maybe. There still are a lot of them. Our progress is slower than expected. We won't arrive on schedule. Sorry, we're doing the best we can. Uh-huh. Missile I should have brought missiles, being that we failed, and should have started went back and got missiles, then did it. Why do they fly up so fucking high? Look at that. There's still so many of them left. Yeah, they're not. GA is not being very helpful. Our sure. reinforcements have entered the combat zone. Kept you waiting, huh? Commencing attack. Good work, Lynx. Yeah. Do you want to maybe like where 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 were they at? They're right there. All right. Let's let's explore these things this way. And slow. Conservative, conservative, conservative on ammo. Oh my God. <laughs> what drone are you talking about, baby? Did you the one in the, the video you put? There's still so many left. Ah, the one that went into space? Yeah, they just infinitely fly upwards. Where's there another one at? No. Oh. Confirmed. All Jeez. targets destroyed. Mission complete. You're even better than I thought. Yeah, thanks. Gotta bring gun for like 30 rifles to that fight. Holy crap. Yeah, you better give me an S rank for that bullshit I just went through. The League has focused on maintaining complete and utter control. They agreed this goal could never be entrusted to any single person who, if eliminated, could jeopardize their reign. So in the aftermath of the Lynx War, the League manufactured enormous battle stations called arms forts. Manned by a crew of thousands of expendable soldiers, this was military might the League could control and therefore trust. Arms forts have become the perfect solution to the League's needs, and their firepower far and away surpasses the average next. Dream and hope as they might, the next pilots know that those who dare take on giants rarely live to tell the tale. Okay, so I need to go back to do Mother Will, right? Yes. If you want next playthrough. Oh, I can just do it on the next time around, right? We'll just do that. We'll save it. Let's do Defeat Unknown next. Let's review your mission. The client is Algebra Corporation. Your objective is to eradicate the next occupying the Richland Agricultural Plant. 
We don't have too many details on the target. We know it's not affiliated with the Kalar, but it appears to be a two-legged heavy. A tough knot to crack. Literally. Of course, the client expects you to cooperate with other links for this operation. Overall battlefield strategy is up to you. But please, don't try to be a hero. You have allies. Use them. What if I said... No. Uh, was that a bad decision? Oh, cube talks. Well, if we die, I'll bring cube. Let's see if we can take them on 1v1 first. Oh, I didn't bring my plasma cannon. Commence mission. Destroy the unidentified next. Don't be intimidated. He may be a bit skilled, but he's just another Lynx like yourself. Ooh. Whose peon is it this time? Perfect time. I was getting tired of arms forts. It's a big old can you got there, brother. But you're slow. How much health this motherfucker got? Doomed to obscurity forever. <laughs> what I deserve for not taking this more seriously. Confirmed. Unidentified next destroyed. Mission complete. It looks like you're improving out there. It's a cool build. I like how the eye's still on. Oh, he doesn't have a name at all. Like, in lore, he doesn't have a name? Just some random dude in the next? Shoulder weapon Euphoria acquired. Let's go take a look. Oh, it's a PA molder. Are these still bad? That looks actually kind of dope on this build right now. It would, it would make us too heavy, but it looks really cool. Um, I want to tune. Let's leave. Actually, that's fine. We'll leave with that. I mean, are they passive or are they active? Does that, does that make sense? Like, do these just give you a buff to your primal armor or something? Or do you have to, like, press a button for them to do something? They're passive? See, I like stuff like that. I can, I'd like to throw that on for a passive bonus. Uh, and we're still under our weight limit. So, like, it's not really hurting anything. Alright, so they don't do anything if I press the button for them. I think that would kind of cool. We'll leave them on for aesthetic reasons for right now. It's good for S ranks, yeah. I'm kind of thinking... What would this look like? That actually looks kind of dope with the green eye. I kind of like that. I wish there was a way to turn the eye on while we're sitting here. Rescue GA. Wait, eliminate Procyon. Is that a. Is that a. Is that a next? Rescue the J transport unit. What is this one? Here is the mission. You are to destroy the large scale Procyon energy cannons. They are deployed within the gear tunnel. The Procyon is a decommissioned weapon originally manufactured by Omer. Even so, it can still deliver a powerful punch. Don't approach them head on. The gear tunnel is actually a web of large tunnels. 
You'll need to use the environment to find safe positions from which to attack. And oh, destroy this sounds annoying. Targets. That's the mission. Procyon. I'm not doing. No, I don't want to do that. Let's do uh, rescue the GA transport unit. Here's the mission. The client is GA America. Your target is the Interior Union's land-based armed support unit. Land crab. The enemy is currently pursuing a GA America transport unit through the Loro Desert. Your task is to neutralize them before they can take out GA's forces. Okay. The Interior Union arms forts are armed with multiple strafing lasers. Once our transports come in range of those weapons, they'll be dead in the sand. Keep that in mind. Basically, we just need you to take it out fast. Nothing fancy. Okay. That's it. This is a good job for the right links. Contact us. This, yeah, I agree, Pidgey. This dude is definitely in a lot of anime dubs. That, that voice is super familiar. The version of White Glint that we fought didn't have those uh, back parts on, I don't think. Either. Hmm. All right, well, let's go. They may have contracted Funimation. I mean, the voice acting in this one's pretty good. It was pretty good in 4 as well, and in um, Last Raven. It's been pretty good, generally speaking, I guess. Commence mission. Destroy all enemy arms fort units. Virtual defense line is displayed on your radar. Enemy units crossing that line will have a firing solution on the transport. Oh. That equals mission failure for us. We don't want that to happen, do we? Hold the line. Another arms board down. One more. Something else is definitely going to happen during this mission. <laughs> There were some over here somewhere. Yeah. Gotta get some style points in. I'm trying to see my eye. The transports are safe. Good work. Looks cool. Too good for this game. Is there a hard mode? There's a hard mode though, isn't there? We're playing on normal right now. You think there is? You don't. Yeah. You, you don't know. Attack on P A N N fifty one. How about defeat AF Great Wall? This is the mission. The client is Algebra. Your job will be to destroy GA America's main arms fort, Great Wall. Great Wall is one of the most powerful land weapons operating today. It's big and lumbering, but don't underestimate the train. it. It comes with some serious firepower, armor, and load capacity. Your best bet will probably be to get inside and obliterate it from within. That's interesting. Destroy the large-scale hatch at the rear of the AF to gain entry. Once inside, target its power source and declaw the beast. Okay. That is all. This is an excellent chance to raise your profile with an algebra. It might be a good idea to take it. Ooh, I don't like the way he said that. It's uncomfortable. It makes me think it's not a good idea to take it. Yo, that's a thick boy. That looks like he should be in Pacific Rim right there. The Soldner G8.
Okay, here we go. In a second. Or two. Or three. There we go. Commence mission. Destroy the GA Arms Fort, Great Wall. First, infiltrate the Arms Fort from the rear. I love how large these maps are now. That's so cool. Like, that's something they needed to do in Armored Fort for so long. Like, to get the scale up in it. This is like doing it perfectly. You think it'd be harder for it to hit me beside it like this? Ooh, what is that thing? Oh god. Oh god! We've gotten inside. Keep advancing towards its internal power source. What's up, Retro? Gonna go fast. What was that sound? Did it separate? I don't know. It disengaged from the rear unit. Quick, go after its power source. I'm trying. Damn it, it's like a lizard discarding its tail. Damn, those normal are tanky. Like, I can just run through everything, just fuck it, ran right into it. Good. Almost reached the core. Ooh. After you enough, you started the chain reaction. Get clear of the power unit. Combat damage at 70%. I don't think I made it out in time. Confirmed. Arms Fort Great Wall has been destroyed. Is that me? Oh, Mission that's sick. Successful. That's sick right there. The most powerful land based weapon. You handled yourself pretty well. Maybe I underestimated you. That was pretty cool. If I would have got out a second faster, that would have been an S rank. Unfortunate. We can do it again later if we want to get an S rank. Alright, so we got new parts, it said. Assault rifle. A lot of, oh, the Marv. Cool. They nailed the arms for missions. I mean, the, the the scale of the game has went up so much, and like it's just so good. It's it's done so well. Um, like it's it's just crazy. I'm I'm, I'm enjoying this game way more than uh, I like. Four was really good. I had a blast playing through four, but this is so good. It's like like I said before, they took everything that they learned from four and put it in here, and it's working out very well. That head looks really cool. Oh, we have the Hogeyer head again. I still like the Lancel head a lot. Four answers is just so goddamn epic. I agree. It's, it's It's been so fun so far, and we haven't even gotten that far. The Lahir head is interesting. There's no eye. I don't like that. Oh, we have all the Hogeyer parts now. Uh, was I using the arms before? Are they heavier, actually? They're he I don't know. We can't put them on because they're heavier. Coming from 4, the blading is so sick. I agree. How are these legs stacking up? They're actually pretty good. Turning ability isn't as good, and they're a little heavier. What's maneuver? What is average speed? It goes down by a hundred, and um, turning ability goes down a lot actually. But I feel like these are better. Oh wait. We, no, I don't know if we, we put a V fin on though. Maybe a commander fin. If there's something like that, it could work. Like that's. Eh. Oh no, not that.
I like something like that. Ace looking legs, yeah. I wish those were missiles. <laughs> those actually look pretty cool. I don't know what they are, but they look cool. Gotta go fast parts. I kind of like these and these. I'm gonna grab these too. You role play and imagine they are. I'm gonna buy both of these because I like them. The aesthetic. Poor lower. Where does this go at? Oh, on the bottom part. Oh, we, we, we have stuff there. Let's see if there's anything better. Mm, nah. These are like little shield looking things. That's kind of cool, actually. I like the fuel tank aesthetic, though. Too much. <laughs> so tempting. Those are the ones I had before, I think. You're finally able to play Zen of the Enders and AC Nexus. Today's a good day. Both Armor Core Nexus was okay. Uh, I never played Zen of the Enders, though. I've uh, I've heard good things. Shield plating. Kind of cool. Oh, it's a butt skirt. I, I kind of like the skirting. That's kind of cool. That's too much. God, there's so much to do here. Oh, I like that. We're getting that. And that one. I like the plating look on the front of the legs. I like this one. Use the one that I liked a lot in Ultima. That's, that's really cool looking. Spikies. Tanks. Oh, it's this one right here. I'm gonna buy that. I like the, the way those look. We'll grab those too. Legs middle. This is a crotch? No, it's in the center of the legs. More shields. I like those. Same fucking taste, you know it. Dude. You know it. Look here, no. That rifle looks really cool. Is there a radar I can put on that will not screw my- wait, add main booster? Is that something go even faster? Hold on, I want this. That radar looks insane. I'm wondering how much slower we're gonna fill with the leg swap. That's what I'm kind of worried about. This does give us a lot more we can do. God, those look really cool. I kind of want to put those on and try them. So our mobility dropped a lot, I think. Not really, but actually it didn't. Never mind. The core is keeping us lighter, I'm assuming. I 
I feel about that yet. Where's this at? Oh, right there. Keep the smaller ones, I think. Yeah. Very stable. Yeah. I'm trying to make sure we stay balanced. I mean, everything that I put on, I want to keep symmetrical anyway. All right, so I put this here. I don't know how I, if I if I like these or not. Right, stable crafts obviously have improvements in mobility. Oh, I want to try those boosters out too. I mean, the speed feels like really good. So I don't know if we slow down a lot right there by doing that. We'll see in a second, I guess. I probably need to get a different generator in FCS too. I've been rocking the same stuff. We still feel pretty fast. We look a lot bulkier now, though. It's mostly the, the Hogar legs. I could take off the shield and the legs. That probably would look better. The little side shields? Yeah. We have really good AP too, or whatever it's called. I think speed feels okay actually right now. But yeah, obviously the more FRS we get, the, the faster we're gonna go. I don't know what a good AP value is for this game. I mean, 4,000 seems good. Like, we don't look that bulky right here. There's a lot going on behind, I guess. Thirty-six plus is good. All right, thanks, all of them. Do we like that better? I think we like that better. I'm still not sure about these. On this core, at least. All right, where, where are we at here? Maneuverability. Where is maneuverability? Oh, average speed. We don't want to drop. 
That looks wild. But you could do a real. That actually looks kind of cool. The arms are too short, though. <sighs> Dude, I like this course so much. What am I losing? PA durability, PA rectification, AP it goes up, stability goes up. We lose a lot of energy defense. want a radar I don't know why I just have a, a want for a radar stability is still pretty good ammo is still kind of a concern because we don't have that much ammo but I don't know. It depends on the missions, right? The blade seems to be really... The blade is going to take care of any of the big, like, ammo sink type enemies. Alright, yeah, we look better now. This looks better. This thing looks fucking sick, actually. We can just over wait. Why can we overboost for so long? That's way longer than we could before, I think. That folding action. What, what, what do you mean? What does that mean? Oh wait, wait. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means. It's because the formula for primal armor grain is different? Oh, okay. So it just allows you to fly, like, go forever now? So in four, it's flat max percentage drain per second. In this game, it's like half-life. Oh, okay. So they like more than double it then. Here's the mission. Vaguely all of them. I know that it would more than Your double the, the length of the primal armor drain. Resource plant. This mission is simple. Take out the defenses and destroy the plant. There is one catch, however. You must complete the mission within the specified time frame. I suppose the big shots have their reasons for choosing the links of your caliber. There will be bonuses for completing the mission in as short a time as possible. This is a chance for you to make some extra cash. And that's about it. You could do worse, right? Let us know if you want the job. The five different sources told CNN the, the UFO report that Congress is releasing next month cannot rule out alien crafts and cannot and and have not definitively determined the creator as or operator of the craft. Huh. Okay. GA America is the coolest. They have a good uh, operator, that's for sure. Yeah, Aldous, that's what I thought. So 1 goes to 0 0.5 to 0 0.25 to 0 0.125 to 0 0.067 to 0 0.033. Yeah, the GA contact is like super lax about everything going on.
Okay, let's get going. I'm just blowing stuff up, I think. Commence mission. Take out the enemy defenses and destroy the resource plants. Too many bomb explosions. No time to waste. Aha, uh -huh. it's Barat Squadron. No wonder the defense units were targeted. Cut Wait. Rats. Is there a Nexus here then? Or no, the, oh, it's the, the normals, or the Barat Squadron. Where, is, where are the plants at? Where are they at? Insert historian alien meme guy. Five minutes remaining. Five in-game minutes or five real minutes? Oh, here we go. Resource plan destroyed. Two more to go. Oh, I didn't finish the first one. Shit. Normals. Ah. Plant destroyed. Just one left. All right, that first one's still there. Remaining. Two left, that's it? No, nah, there has to be more than two. Confirmed. Nope, it's all of them. All targets destroyed. Mission complete. Nice. Dude, this thing barely looks badass right now. Awesome. Ah, A, whatever. What's up, Nal? Just woke up. Well, we moved on to uh, Armored Core for answer, as you see. Total rank B. That's not fair. Oh, there's 42 missions in the game. Good to know. Uh, we also beat all the arena matches. So we're collared rank, uh, collared rank number one. But anyways, guys, I think I am going to wrap up for tonight. Uh, we actually went an hour longer than we normally do. Um, don't forget, no stream on Friday, which is tomorrow or today now. Um, I will be back on Sunday though. Uh, me and RP are probably going to play some armor, or armor core, play some Final Fantasy XIV, uh, the MMO. If you're interested in seeing what that's all about, it's pretty cool. Uh, it could be fun if you stop by and check it out. Um, thanks. I will enjoy the weekend. Um, I will, then I will see you guys on Sunday, and then uh, next week I think streams are going to go back to normal. So Tuesday, Thursday, uh, Friday, Sunday, or. Yeah, so Sunday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday should be what happens next week. Unless something comes up with work or whatever, and I'll let you guys know. But we'll be playing some more Armored Core for answers then. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.